Question 22, Part A. Daniel has a bag of marbles. Here's some facts about them. He has twice as many black marbles as red marbles. The rest are all yellow. He's going to take a marble at random from the bag. The table shows the probability of taking a yellow, black or red marble. Complete the table. So, the yellow probability is 1 out of 7. So that means there are still 6 out of the 7 marbles remaining. So I've got 6 possible marbles left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the fact that we're given here is that he has twice as many black as red. So if we start to look at this, that's not twice as many, that's not. At a half he's got equal, but with four black marbles, he's and, and he would only have two red remaining. So he must have four out of the seven must be black, leaving two out of seven to be red. In part B, Escher has two bags of marbles. One bag has 20 marbles, one bag has 10 marbles. Escher puts all 30 marbles into a new bag. Write the probability of taking a black or red marble from the new bag. What we need to do is work out how many of each coloured marble there are, which will tell us how many marbles there are in total and therefore what's the probability of choosing that marble. So in the first bag it says a half a black. So a half of 20 is 10. In the second bag a half a black, so a half of 10, is 5. If we put those two together we're going to end up with 15 black marbles. And that's still out of 30, 30 being the total number of marbles in the bag. If you chose to simplify this and realised it would just be a half, that's perfectly acceptable, you would still get your mark for that answer. Let's try the same thing for the red marbles. There's two ways of approaching this. One of them is to work out what one-fifth of twenty marbles is and two-fifths of ten. We'll prove that that works afterwards, but the easiest way to do this is to just work out how many marbles are left. If you have 15 black and 7 yellow, that means you have 22 marbles, meaning there are only 8 left, therefore the probability of red must be 8 out of 30. Again, this could be simplified to 4 out of 15, and you wouldn't be wrong. Let's just prove that this works, and show that there are only 8 red marbles. To find one fifth of a number, you divide by 5. You divide by the bottom number. So 20 divided by 5 would mean there are only 4 red marbles in the first bag. To find 2 fifths, you divide by 5 and then multiply by 2. 10 divided by 5 is 2, multiplied by 2 is 4. So therefore, 4 out of 4 shows that we also have 8 out of 30 marbles must be red.